Hey everyone, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sambia. You know we love razors here at Sambia, so we want to share a fresh technique with you called surface razor cutting. What it involves is actually using a texturizing blade in the razor rather than a straight blade and approaching the hair in a different and unique way. Usually when we're razor cutting, we take a section and we come in more perpendicular to the section. So what that means is if this is my section, I'm coming in this direction and working through the hair. What's gonna be different with surface cutting is we're gonna come in more parallel with our section now and use the razor flat with the section. The reason we're gonna use a texturizing blade rather than a straight blade is that it's gonna allow us to take a couple more cuts and leave a softer edge. And we have two different blades that we can use within this technique. We have our nine gap blade and our six gap blade. The nine gap blade is going to act more almost like a texturizing shear, where it's gonna be very, very soft, and you can see that the spacing on the blade is very tight. So it's not gonna leave big peaks and valleys, it's gonna be very soft with the texture. The technique is simply take your section, and you're going to trap that section into your fingers. So you're trapping in between the bridge of the comb and the finger behind it. And that gives me lots of tension. You could see I could pull her right off the stand if I wanted to. The movement then is we come in with the razor and we work parallel to the hair and we start to remove from the surface. Now you can see how different of an approach that is versus classic razor cutting where I'd be coming across the hair this way. What that does for me is it leaves me a very, very soft edge to the straight line. And that's one of the huge benefits of using this type of technique rather than a straight razor cut. You can see you could cut a nice fringe that has a very, very soft line to it. Now what's gonna change if I change blades? I'm gonna pick up the pack here and I'm gonna take the nine gap blade out. And now we're gonna put the six gap blade in. The difference with this particular blade is you can see there's a lot more space in between the peaks and valleys on the razor. So the little cup is gonna hold out more hair and then the space in between is going to cut more hair. So this is gonna give us more of a peak and valley sort of feel, um, a more deliberate texture. We can do the exact same technique here. Again, we just establish our tension and then the bridge of the comb here against the, my finger creates a lot of tension and I come through and now I'm gonna create more peaks and valleys with that texture and it's gonna feel more deliberate than the nine gap razor. I do this a lot for fringe areas but we can also do it for layering. And you'll see this a lot used in two of our haircuts within the Modern Heritage Collection which if you guys are interested in learning some full length haircuts, you can go to our on-demand site and look at our Modern Heritage Collection, and we actually use this exact technique in two of those haircuts. So let's say I'm doing more of a layered technique now. Work in a vertical section. Let's say I'm just working at elevated 90 degrees horizontal, just parallel with the floor, and I want to create a layer in here. Same exact technique, just come in parallel, and then come right to my fingers. Now my fingers are what are creating the tension within the blade. Traditionally, again, what I would have done there is got my tension and then worked the blade more perpendicular to the section rather than parallel to the section. So it's just a fresh way to look at razor cutting. And again, that's one of the things that we really challenge you guys to do. We want you to think differently, say differently, and do differently behind the chair. We know that your clients want something fresh, and we know that you as a hairdresser always need to be freshening up your skills and your techniques so you stay interested every day behind the chair. Any questions, comments on this technique, feel free to leave them in the box below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Dio.